What's up, YouTubers? Uh, Holland227 here. I'm going to continue my uh, list of reviews I'm going to do. Um, up next, I'm going to do my uh, NES collection review. Uh, I don't have a large collection. I see a lot of people out there, 300 games or so. Um, I used to have a big one. Uh, but then when we moved, when I moved out of my parents' house when I was younger, I lost a lot of the stuff. Um, so I'm slowly building it back up. Let's go ahead and get started first on the NES itself. Uh, this one, of course, is the top loading NES. It's a little dirty. Got to clean it up. It's been packed away. Um, I'm one of the people who got a top loader. Uh, it's awesome to not have to keep blowing in it, not having to change the pins. Um, I'm really glad that I got this. Uh, I picked this up off a of buddy years ago. Um, he didn't want this one. Uh, he sold it to me pretty cheap, 20 bucks or so. It was a great investment. Um, and then I have all the accessories. I've got the, you know, the zapper gun, uh, controllers, everything like that to get me started. Uh, so let's go ahead and start the games. Uh, first up, uh, classic NES game. I got uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Uh, Mike Tyson version makes it better. Uh, I don't have nothing against the Mr. Dream version, but for me, uh, you know, Mike Tyson version makes it stand out a little bit more. Um, this, I think that's one of the must-haves for any NES collection, any NES player. Um, definitely get that one. Uh, next up, uh, a game that uh, I never beat. I always got real close, and I never finished it off, and I, and I don't know why. But it's Legacy of the Wizard. This is a fantastic game. A great concept. Uh, there's a lot of hero characters, and uh, you have to use them all in various parts of the game. Uh, to complete it, which is uh, an ingenious idea. Um, the only downside of that is you have to keep running back to the house to get the people. Um, but but I, I really enjoy it. Uh, I would highly recommend it to anybody. Uh, next game I got is one of my personal favorites. Uh, it gets mixed reviews, but it's uh, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This game is pretty difficult. Um, but I really like it. I like the concept, the switching of the characters. Um, the rescuing the characters. Uh, I was a huge Turtles fan when I was younger. I had all the posters, uh, the action figures, the movies, the cartoons, everything. Um, it's probably one of my top games. Uh, it has a certain appeal. It has to have to it to a certain crowd, but it's one I recommend highly. Uh, pro Wrestling. Uh, not the, the best wrestling game I would recommend, but you can usually find this one pretty cheap. Um, I, it's not the greatest. It's a pretty simple game. Um, another one is Ice Hockey. Now, this one I really like. Um, they did a little bit. Uh, if you want to go into character customization, they have like thin guys and, and, and larger guys uh, to make up your team. Uh, you know, the thin guys skate a little bit faster. The bigger guys shoot a little harder. Um, uh, for some reason, I really like it. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty simple game. Uh, next one is probably uh, the best wrestling game that they have on the NES and it's Tecmo World Wrestling. This game is awesome. Um, I love the moves, I love the characters, um, I love the announcer at the bottom. Uh, you read some of the stuff that he says, uh, it's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, that's one that I really recommend, the top game you gotta have in your collection. Uh, Double Dragon 2, Revenge. Um, it's Double Dragon. Um, I remember the first time I played this game, they had like a little kids carnival um, day at my school when I was in elementary school. Of course, I already had Double Dragon 1, but we hadn't bought two yet. Uh, and I played it, and uh, it's sweet. Double Dragon 2, it rocks. Uh, here's one I picked up at a yard sale for a dollar. Uh, the only downside of it is it doesn't have the actual case to it. But it's Shadowgate, and they actually had the book, but the crapheads put a sticker on the book showing how much it is. I thought that was pretty messed up. But to get it with a book was awesome. Um, I haven't popped it in yet and played it. I, I played Shadowgate before, uh, years ago. Uh, but I haven't got to play this, this one in a long time, so I really don't remember much about it. Um, I remember the 64 one was pretty good, so I'm going to get out my check. Um, probably the best game, uh, one of, if not the best game for the Nintendo, Super Mario Bros. 3. 
Uh, I remember my dad bringing this game home. Um, my brother and I uh, were huge, huge gaming Nintendo fans when we were younger. And I remember my cousin was living with us at the time. And uh, he brought this home, and I seen it, and you know, he told me to be real quiet, not tell anybody. We popped it in, and we played through it until my brother and my cousin actually came out. Uh, and then I remember the wizard um, was what turned us on to this game, you know, where they unveiled it at the end. Uh, that is a definite must-have in any collection. Any collection, I don't care what kind of fan you are, that is the ultimate game. Uh, another classic, 10-yard fight. Where can you go wrong with 10 yards fight? Nowhere. Uh, one of the, the first football games. Uh, one of the one of the better easy easy games from the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, one of my favorite racing games. I don't know if this is my favorite. Uh, if not, it's my second favorite. It's always a toss up for me. But it's uh, RC Pro Am. Uh, I really like RC Pro Am. Um, It, it, was, it was a good game, good concept. I like the ability to try to wreck your opponents uh, doing the race, collecting the Nintendo letters. Uh, I highly recommend RC Pro I'm pretty sure most people do too. Super Dodgeball. Uh, it was amazing when I was a kid. I never played this game. Uh, and then when I got my Game Boy Advance, I got uh, the Super Dodgeball Advance and uh, found out there was the Nintendo version. Uh, how stupid of me not to play it. Uh, dodgeball is awesome. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's a pretty good game. Uh, here's another one that spawned a lot of sequels and uh, does pretty good uh, gameplay and it's uh, Hudson's Adventure Island. Uh, great platformer, great game, had a lot of a lot of sequels uh, but you can't go wrong with the original or something. Uh, I say check it out. Our, um, Adventure Island's a great game. Uh, Solstice, The Quest of the Staff of the Demons. Don't know too much about this, haven't played much of it. Uh, this is one we'll have to pop in, check it out. Uh, but it's another Nintendo game. So I can't give it a fair review because I don't know. Uh, Bugs Bunny Birthday Blowout. I enjoyed it when I was a kid and I still enjoy it today. Um, it's nice to have the game. Um, I don't know if it's a top game to have. Um, your Bugs Bunny Birthday Blowout, you walk, you, you know, you go through the doors. I think you're, you're trying to eliminate the characters. Uh, if I remember the correct one, there's there's so many different Bugs Bunny ones, but uh, I say get it. I enjoyed it. Um, probably one of the hardest games I've ever played, Ghosts and Goblins. This game is so hard and so challenging. Uh, I think they remade this on the PSP. They made it a little bit easier. Uh, but I remember as a kid struggling so many times to get through the first level. Um, it's a hard game. But I know it's classic and it's it's got to be in your collection. If you've got an NES collection, you got to have it. Um, one of the better games. Now, I like this in the arcade because the arcade was a little more in-depth. But uh, it's Bionic Commando. Uh, Bionic Commando is the bomb. Um, with the uh, the grappling arm was great. Um, I, I like it. I know a lot of people like it. It's highly recommended on my list. Uh, of course, this is a classic, and I don't know anybody that doesn't like this game. It's Tetris. There's not a lot to say about it. It's the original, you know, it's Tetris. You gotta have Tetris. Uh, this is a game I really love, and I see it on a lot of people's top ten list, and it's uh, DuckTales. Um, I like DuckTales. It's a great platformer. Um, uh, you can enjoy it as a kid, as an adult. Um, you know, hey, Scrooge McDuck, he likes his money. You gotta make sure he gets it. Great platformer. Uh, Blaster Master. Can't go wrong with Blaster Master. Awesome, awesome game. Uh, it's got to be another one that's in your must-have list. Uh, Tetris 2. Another Tetris game. Not as good as the original. Um, but it's another one that you got to have. Um, going on to being a wrestling fan like I am, it's a WrestleMania Challenge. I find this better than I think WrestleMania is the is the one. The other one. This one's better, and for one of the reasons, because it has the Ultimate Warrior in it, who yeah, I was a big fan of as a kid growing up. Um, the graphics were a lot better. Uh, the ability, to, yeah, the tag teams, um, the way the championship mode worked. Uh, I, I thought personally it was a better game. So that's going to be part one. I'm going to have to wrap it up because I'm about to hit my time limit. But uh, I'll get back with you guys. I still have a stack and a half or so.